serve a mighty God tonight. Hallelujah. There's nothing too big for him. There's nothing too great for him. There's nothing that he can't, he can't handle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I might not be able to handle it. You might not be able to handle it, but he can handle it. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says to cast all your cares upon him. For he cares for you. It's when we try to carry him around. It's when we don't let go of him. It's when we don't realize in our mind that we can't. There's nothing we can do. Just put it in God's hands. Sometimes that's the hardest thing. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do is just to realize and make up in your own mind that, hey, there's nothing I can do about it but pray and ask God to help me and put it in his hands, and he'll take care of it. He'll work that situation out in your life. Got anybody in here tonight that just want to lay their burdens on the altar tonight? Cast all your cares, all your cares upon him tonight. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if it's too big. If, it doesn't matter if it's too small. He didn't classify that. He just said, cast all your cares. Come on, somebody. You want to get rid of doubt? You want to get rid of fear tonight? Depression? It's got to go. Hallelujah. Just call on that name, Jesus. 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 There's power in that name tonight. Hallelujah. There's power in that name. There's victory in that name. Come on, come on. Cast all your cares on him tonight. Uh, give them to him tonight. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The hundredth Psalm, Psalms 150 says, Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Can you praise him tonight? Hallelujah. Can you lift your voice? Can you let the devil know that you love God more than you love the world? Can you let him know? Let God know that you love him tonight. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I praise you tonight, God. I magnify your holy name for you alone are worthy, Jesus. You are mighty, God. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. Hallelujah. We have so much to be thankful for. So much to be thankful for. Hallelujah. Might not have everything that you want or need, but you've got breath in your lungs tonight. How many didn't wake up this morning? A lot of people didn't make it today. But I'm thankful that God gave me one more day to worship him, to serve him, to live for him, to praise him. Hallelujah. To see my grandbabies, to see my children, to see my wife. Hallelujah. God is so good to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just give him a hand clap of praise tonight. Just love on him for a minute. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we love you. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you tonight, God. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Remember the Lamberts, uh, brother and sister Lambert, they bringing Randy home tonight. Remember Randy, he's real weak. Uh, let's uh, pray for him. Pray for them this weekend. Uh, Going to bury uh, Mama Well Banks uh, Saturday, right? Saturday. So just keep them in their in your prayers. Uh, all those that aren't here, unspoken by the uplifting of the hand tonight. Let's just let's just pray for. You. thank you for our pastor and his wife, Lord. We thank you for uplifting and encouraging them right now, God, for giving them strength, God, for ministering to them, God, in their hour of need. God, we ask you to touch Randy, God, to give him the strength, God, to uplift and encourage them, to, God, as they travel, God. Keep your hand of safety and mercy on them, God. Not all those special needs tonight god by the uplifting of the hand god we know that you know that you're able god to minister to meet the needs god if you said your word says if we'll ask god god we're asking tonight god for you to minister to move in every situation tonight in jesus name lord we love you tonight for we give you the praise god hallelujah come on just thank him one more time Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 As Brother Fields comes on, gets ready tonight, y'all can be seated. Amen. I'm so, so overwhelmed uh, by the mercy of God, his goodness to us. Amen. Amen. God is so merciful. Hallelujah. So many times in my life he could have took me, but I'm still here. I 
I'm so thankful that God has a plan for me. And he's got a plan for you tonight. I don't know about you, but I just want to be part of his will. I want to be part of his plan. Amen. I want to be in his will. Hallelujah. I want to be in his perfect will. I want to do God's will, not my will. Hallelujah. 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 Let's, let's just love him one more time as Brother Fields comes tonight. Lord, we love you. the same yesterday, today, and forever. If I'm going to put a title on it, I'm going to title it The Real Deal. Everybody's look, everybody looks for a real deal. If you go to the grocery store, you look for a deal. You buy a car, you look for a deal. You buy When you bought your house, Brother Kobe, you was looking for a deal. But can I tell you, the church is the real deal. You can't water it down. You can't add to it. You can't take away from it. You can't modify it to fit your needs. It's the real deal. Now, I'm glad I know about the real deal. Hallelujah. See, the world's not, uh, the definition of real deal is genuine. Well, when you're genuine, it's to be real, not counterfeit or uh, a cheap knockoff. The church is not a cheap knockoff. The world's not looking for a cheap knockoff. They're looking for, the, for the, the real deal. This is the real deal, folks. You can be seated. This is the real deal. You know, I, um, you know I, I was uh, thinking about my mother-in-law and all this. You know, she was the real deal. Whenever you seen her, she never changed. It didn't matter if she was on her job. It didn't matter if she was seeing you in the store. You knew she was the real deal. She would tell you if you was doing wrong. She didn't have a problem telling you. You know, we, we were going to a church one time, and she was at work, and she worked with a lady asked her, said, don't that lady go to your church? And she said, yes. She said, well, why is she doing something different than you were doing? She said, all I can tell you is she don't have the same Holy Ghost I've got. The difference was my mother-in-law was the real deal and the other lady was a cheap knockoff. I don't want to be a cheap knockoff. We got to be the real deal, church. The world's looking to us to be the real deal. Hallelujah. Young people, you can't be a cheap knockoff. It doesn't matter. Brianna, you, you're almost, you're grown now. Your grandma, your daddy, your mama, your papa, we put something in you. We put the real deal in you. You're on your own. You're out and about. When you're out there, you've got to be the real deal. They've got to see something in you. You can't be a cheap knockoff. I worked with a guy that from day one we hit it off. Um, he says he's Pentecostal. Um, every Monday morning just about he's in my office uh, talking about the great church service, and we talk about church and He's talking uh, last Monday. He was talking about how great a service they had, and they shouted and everything. And then, about four, t four sentences in, he let out about three cuss words. And I thought, you know, this guy is—he's uh, counterfeit. He's not the real deal. You know, he had a form of godliness, but he wasn't the real deal. And I just—I I thought, you know, he's a deacon in the church. He's a Sunday school teacher. He's on the board. I thought, my Lord, what is he t what is he s telling other people that know he goes to church, that knows that he what he claims to be, but he's not the real deal. I'm talking about the real deal tonight, folks. The church is the real deal. Hallelujah. You know, I I, I don't think you can have the real deal and not be holy. We were about three months ago. We were going to Alma. We were going.
going to make a stop. And my wife said, well, let's go on down to where we normally stop. We got there, and this lady kept looking at us, and I'm thinking, you know, I didn't know if she was going to ask us for money. You never know these days. And I wasn't sure what she, what her motives was, and we went on in and went to the restroom, and we come out and begin to get snacks. And um, as we made our way toward the front to check out, the lady looked at my wife, and she said, you're Pentecostal. My wife didn't drop her head and say, yeah, I'm Pentecostal. You know, just call it. She said, yes, ma'am, I am. And I go to Solid Rock Pentecostal Church. Come to find out she was a backslider that had been out of the church for years, and she asked my wife to pray for her. But she seen something because my wife was the real deal. She wasn't looking like the world. She wasn't dressing like the world. She was the real deal. Church, we got to be real. We can't be counterfeit. We can't be a cheap knockoff. we got to be real. There's plenty of churches around here that's a cheap knockoff. You can find one to meet your needs, whatever you want. But I thank God that we've got a church that's not a cheap knockoff. It's the real deal. I'm glad we got leaders in this church that will stand up and tell you when you're wrong, that will stand up and tell you you've got to do this to be saved. I'm talking about the real deal tonight. This is the real deal, folks. It's not no cheap knockoff. You know, there's a price you pay to be to have the real deal. You know, it, the real deal don't just come. you got to pay a price for it. If it don't cost you nothing, it's not worth nothing. If you, When Colby bought his truck, I remember when he bought that Dakota. He told me uh, he had sweat in that truck. He, he worked for that truck. He mowed yards in the evening when he got off. That truck meant something to him. Why? Because he, he put something into it. we got to put something into this thing, folks, to get something out of it. It's got to be more than a Sunday night shout. It's got to be more than a Sunday night dance. You can't come in here and be the real deal on Sunday and then Monday morning post on Facebook how depressed, beat down, can't pay your bills, uh, sick. you got to be the real deal on Monday. You gotta be the real deal on Tuesday. You gotta be the real deal on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Folks, we gotta be the real deal. Are you the real deal? Are you the real deal? You know, I thought about the people that's come in and out of this church and you know, um, they've come and they've gone and they, they stay a while and they leave and, and and I thought, you know, why is that? It's because they're looking for a cheap knockoff. They're not looking for the real deal. Folks, we got to be the real deal. I know I keep saying that, but it's the real deal. Hallelujah. You know, I was talking to, um, to a guy the other day, and he, he was telling me that, uh, you know, he'd been raised in the church. Of course, it wasn't the church, but he, he began to tell me about, um, you know, all of it. And he said, man, we speak in tongues, we, we shout, and we dance. But you see, he's got a form of it. He don't have the real deal. you got to have the full thing. You've got to have the whole package. And I thank the Lord for the whole package tonight. Amen. Amen. I um, thought about, uh, hallelujah. You know, being a, a real deal, the Lord will change you and make you a real deal if you'll let him. But you got to let him make you the real deal. Hallelujah. You know, we're living in the greatest hour of the church. This is the greatest hour for the church. You know, but we must be real. They're not looking for somebody that's going to water it down. They're not looking for somebody. That, if they want something... A, a, a counterfeit they'll go somewhere else you know when people I thought about Lisa the young lady we went to the hospital to pray for when they called and asked us to come uh, we got up there and you know sh uh, her kidneys had shut down and she couldn't uh, wasn't responding to dialysis they were telling her you're going to die and a bunch of us went up there and brother Lambert began to minister
minister to her. He didn't just talk to her. He began to minister to her. He gave her a handkerchief and told her, carry it with you everywhere you go. Uh, and we prayed for her. She come out of the hospital. A few weeks later, we went to Gwen's birthday party. I helped Johnny pick up the wheelchair to put her in the house. You know what she had tied to that wheelchair? That handkerchief. But she called on a church that was the real deal. She didn't call on another church that's a cheap counterfeit. She called on the real deal, folks. We can, how many lives can we impact if we're the real deal? But if we're not the real deal, how many lives are we going to harm? Not being a counterfeit or a cheap knockoff. I don't want to be a cheap knockoff. I want to be the real deal, folks. Hallelujah. I thought about um, all that we, you, you know, all that we do, and we we go and we've been knocking doors, been going to the trailer park, and we we've been doing all of that. And, and I thought, you know, my Lord, where's everybody at? Why are we not seeing the harvest off of that? But if we keep, they see something in us when you're over there. They see a difference in you. You've got to be willing to make a difference. You've got to, sh people's got to see a difference in you to want what you want. I'm talking about a real deal. It's a real deal. The church is the real deal. You know, I thought about my sister. She um, been going to church. Well, I found out she's been going to a church of God. You know, she, she for long, she was Pentecostal. Now she's. You know, I see her, talk to her or text her, and she's talking about great church services, but I've noticed she's she's kind of went the other way on holiness. She's kind of went the other way on a lot of things that she used to stand for. Oh, she's, they still talk in tongues, they say. They still shout, and they still have a great service, but they don't have to give up anything, hardly. And I thought, my Lord, you're a counterfeit. How can you go from being real to being a counterfeit? Folks, I don't want to be a counterfeit. I want to be real. I want to be what Jesus wants me to be. We've got to be real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Brother Ivy, and I'm sure Brother Lambert's watching, we love you. I love you. Sister Ivy, I love you. Brother and Sister Lambert, I love you. But don't y'all dare let this church become a cheap counterfeit and not tell me. You tell me I don't want to go to hell. Don't let my family sit on these pews and go to hell because you. this church is a cheap counterfeit. You tell me if I'm doing wrong. Hallelujah. Don't want to be a cheap counterfeit. And I know this ain't very long, um, but this is what I felt. I was going to talk about something else, but I um, Monday everything changed, and I began to think about the real deal, the real deal. Um, I love you. Appreciate all y'all. But we got to be real, folks. We got to be real. Hallelujah. 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 There's nobody like Jesus. Come on. There's nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be real for him because he was real for me. He didn't have to robe himself in flesh. He didn't have to come on this earth and die. But he loved you and me enough to humble himself and become flesh that man could crucify him, spit in his face, humiliate him, so he could be the ultimate sacrifice for you and me tonight. Am I worthy? No, I'm not worthy, but I'm forgiven. I'm thankful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why it's so important to be the real deal. The Bible says... Uh, I 
know the last part of it, denying the faith. I can't, man, my mind. What is it, Brother Fields? Say it again. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power. What is that power? That power is Jesus Christ. When we say we love him, pastor preaches about this all the time. You, you want to come to church and love on God, but you want to love on the world, the things of the world, too. You can't have two mistresses. You can't have two wives, or you can't have two husbands, or whatever you want to call it. That's, that's the way of the world. The world, you know, it's all right to change partners. It's all right to change. You get tired of this one, just throw them away and go get a new one. What about commitment? Is love easy? You that are married, have been married, is love easy? It takes work. It takes commitment. It takes sacrifice. It takes saying, I'm sorry. That's all God wants. He just wants us to be real with him. He is the real deal. It's when we make up in our mind that I'm going to be the real deal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it God's way, not my way. Awesome job, Brother Fields. Hallelujah. Having a form of godliness, but not denying the power. Denying the power. Hallelujah. Are you willing to make a commitment? That's why we don't have a lot still here because they weren't willing to commit submit two different totally words but they got you got to have them to be sold out and be the real deal you got to submit to your pastor hello you got to commit to God God I'm 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 committed. Pastor is your voice, God. And I'm going to submit my life to the Word of God. Hallelujah. I've, I've heard it said many a times, I'd rather be too holy and make it to heaven and find out that I could have got away with this, that, or the other than to miss out by one thing. I don't want to miss heaven. Come on, think about it. What's that one thing that you're battling that you might as well just go ahead and say, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Get behind me, Satan. going to be with my Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God is so good to us. If you want to come pray, these altars are open tonight as they sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe there's something in your life you've been battling. Maybe it's time to commit. 
Maybe it's time to submit it to God. Maybe it's time to ask God for forgiveness. Maybe it's time to say, God, I want to be the real deal. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to be artificial. Somebody's counting on you to be the real deal. Abby's counting on Poppy to be the real deal. Esme's counting on Poppy to be the real deal. Lala, you got to be the real deal. Teach them. Teach them, Kobe. 
Dusty, Jacob, she's counting on you, buddy. Hallelujah, Sister Sabrina. She's counting on you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Brother Fields. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not just about talking. It's not just getting up here saying something, but it's about letting God lead you. Thank you. There's a lot of people that are good orators, that are good speakers, that can keep you captive, a captive audience that are eloquent with words. But I'd much rather have the real truth spoke to me because God laid it on his heart. Hallelujah. Let's just love God one more time. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. You're so good to us. You're so merciful to us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Does anybody need prayer tonight? Is anybody in need of prayer? The Bible says to ask for elders to anoint. pray for that family right now at their loss. God, we know that you're able, God, to minister and to comfort them right now in the name of Jesus, God. How we need you, Lord, to reach down and to touch them, to keep them, to help them, Lord, to uplift them tonight in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray for our books. If nobody needs prayer, hallelujah. 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 If you got a need and you want to write it down, we'll pray with you. That's what these books are all about. Amen. God has already answered a lot of prayers, but we still got a lot that we know that God is going to answer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just reach this way. Let's pray right now. God, we thank you, God, for all that you've already done, God, and what you're doing behind the scenes, God, that we don't even know about, God. We thank you for drawing and, and saving souls, God, where our family, God, and healing and delivering and setting free, God. We ask right now, God, uh, God, not to leave any need that is wrote down in these books unfinished, God. But, God, you are the author and the finisher of our faith, God. And we ask you to touch them right now, God, to draw, to heal, to deliver, and to set free, God, to, to bless and keep, God. We need you tonight, Jesus. We give you the praise for it, God. We thank you for it, God. There's nothing too big for you, God. There's nothing too great for you, God. You said if we'd ask, God, when we ask tonight, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Let's pray uh, for our niece, uh, Vicki Johnson. And her baby, they have a need, special need tonight. Let's go to God in prayer for that right now. In Jesus' name, Lord, we know that you're able to touch this baby, God. We know that you're able to touch Vicky, God, and 
Simeon, God, uplift and encourage and draw them to you, God, tonight. God, we know that you're able to, to make what's wrong right in Jesus' name, Lord. Oh, we give this baby to you, God, and she to work it out in Jesus' name. We thank you for it, God. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. general manager of Zaxby's found his son dead. Let's let's pray for him right now. God, in your name, Lord, we know that you're able to reach down and to comfort him. God, uplift and encourage that family with the loss of their son, God. God, we know that you're able to, to, to be that peace in the middle of a storm. God, we ask you to reach down right now wherever they are. God, let them feel your peace and your your love, God. And, and uplift and encourage them right now in Jesus name we thank you for it God we thank you for it God hallelujah 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 anybody else hallelujah hallelujah Esme pray for Esme amen that's what mama says too huh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember service Sunday that those that will be here will be here. I'll be here. Hallelujah. Pray for those that are uh, traveling. God will keep their hand on them. Uh, keep Brother and Sister Lambert up, held up in your prayers. Uh, definitely uh, this whole weekend. Ain't got nothing else to do. Pray. Hallelujah. They need it. We need it. Amen. And you need it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to practice. I need the prayer. Brother Lambert needs the prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll leave it alone. Amen. <laughs> any, any, no Sunday school this Sunday? Just service, uh, church at one thirty, or prayer at one thirty, church at two. Uh, for those that'll be here, I don't think there's anything else going on the rest of this week, is there? That we know of. Amen, and brother. Uh, brother Purtis will come on, take up the offering. Hallelujah. Mr. Bubbles. Hallelujah. B better Mr. D. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. You need to put that chicken suit back on. Amen. Hallelujah. Give unto the Lord tonight. If you'll stand, we'll... Pray tonight. Lord, we love you. We thank you. For what you've done in this service, God, what you're doing, God, we ask you to keep and bless God, to give, uh, to bless the givers tonight, bless those that have to give and those that don't. In Jesus' name, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Come give unto the Lord tonight. You're dismissed after you give. <laughs>